Hello, hello everyone, welcome to Kino Design. In today's tutorial, it's all about the color LUT shader. And uh, this is a three part tutorial. In the first part, I show you how you can download a LUT from the library. So, this is pretty new. And in the second part, we create our own LUT and with the two different neutral LUTs, so with the 8x8 and the 32x1 LUT. And then in the next, in the last step, I show you how to create the retouching. So you can, of course, if you just need the retouching or any other of these parts, so you can skip between these three parts. And of course, all the assets, uh, you find the assets in the description down below. So make sure, sure you have everything for this tutorial. And yeah, let's start. And we start with a new tutorial and this is pretty cool. Now you have uh, the color LUTs in your library. You see this navigation point right here. So you can skip right here to this one. And then you see all these 33 different LUTs you can use. So and now we just go to the vendor tone. And this is our lavender tone. And now we just go to our patch editor and just drag and drop this one right here. You see the, there is directly a pipeline from our lavender, so from our texture, so the color LUT texture, this one right here, to our color LUT shader. And now we want to create our LUT. So go to rectangle and make sure it's relative 100% to your screen. And then create a material. Add this to flat and add a camera texture, texture extraction to it. So this one right here drag it also into the patch editor and link it with a texture. Go to your material and add the texture output also to your patch editor and link it. And now you see the LUT or the color grading or how you want to know, uh, say to this. And this is a uh, pretty basic. In the next step, we uh, start creating the LUT in Lightroom. And then I want to show you with a new project, how we add this to the shader type. So this is Lightroom. You can, of course, um, work with any other app on your smartphone, for example, um, photo editing app, but I use a Lightroom and these neutral LUTs right here. Um, you find these two in the assets down below in my description. So, and we want to just want to show you create with the same preset. So two keys and red for this and two keys and red for this one. And customize setting and I just go to P jpeg because it's not possible to export it in png don't ask me why and call this one custom name lat test export right here then i create a new file and rectangle same Add a material to it. Flat camera texture. Patch editor. And now if it's a PNG, you can go to color LUT and select the PNG. But in this case, we have created a two J JPEGs. So in this case, you go to import from computer. So these two. And now test, this is our square and this is the line. 
and you see it doesn't work with these two but when I add to color LUT so it know it's in PNG then it's in this folder folder called color LUTs like before and then you see directly the shader type so we can use just this color LUT shader for our LUTs it should work we have our camera texture sorry and our LUT texture now it's working so we have the same experience and now I create a second shader or put this one right here and add this other LUT, LUT to it texture and you see there is no difference make sure that the grid size is by an square so this one right here 8 by 8 and by this string or I call this string or line by this line it's uh, 32 by 1 so this is very important but if you have trouble to find the shader type just download one of these um, color LUTs so you have to make sure that you have the shader type or make sure that you created your LUT as PNG PNG is of course always a better solution um, and then last step, just use this one right here. And now in the last part, I show you how to create the retouching for the LUT. And you create a simple face mesh for the retouching. Retouching. Copy this. Add the material to it retouching and of course go to retouching and you see it doesn't work and now uh, you need for this the LUT is just uh, working with the um, screen size so it's a 2D object but the retouch um, is a face mesh so it's a 3D object so you see this right here this is the uh, face tracker um, and just rep and, and ju just respond to re uh, 3d objects and so you make you need to make sure you have uh, the LUT also on a face mesh and you create a new face mesh make sure it's down below in the face tracker LUT mesh add a new material also LUT mesh make sure it's flat and then you need you have we have for the rectangle we created a texture from our camera but for the face we need the texture from our face tracker so texture extraction and add this one right here and the LUT mesh right here and now we need uh, the shader color LUT shader select and add it sorry every time <laughs> and add the face tracker to your texture like the camera texture right here from our LUT and the LUT test to our color LUT and now you see why it, look, it looks pretty weird because um, when you just add the shader to the patch editor by default the grid size is 8 by 8 but our in this case our LUT is this line so we have to make sure it's like 
here 32 by 1 and I saw also make sure that the advanced render option is user depth is deselected or it's off and now they have this lines right here and that is because uh, from our texture right here we we need to um, make sure that we don't see the cutouts of our mouth and eyes and then it looks way better it's not a compliment for my teeth by the way uh, <laughs> and uh, now I see this black line right we need a alpha mask for this so go to your LUT mesh texture uh, material to alpha and then we add a new texture and in this case it's the face mesh mask this one right here and you find uh, the download link down below it looks like this so it's from spark ir and you can download the whole download the face reference assets and um there's also including this um, face mesh mask so you see the face mesh mask right here and also right here and now it looks nice make sure that the face tracker is um, at the bottom of your scene so don't make the mistake to add it up here so you when you do that you see this line right here so don't make this mistake and that's it thank you very much for watching if you like this tutorial please leave a thumbs it really helps to boost my channel and of course subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and to make sure that you don't miss any new tutorial enjoy the process bye bye